this is for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. Aquarius, you have been processing difficult times. Love has not been, it looks like actually all the air signs have been dealing with some issues around love. Uh, this here card is showing up, okay? And to be honest with you, what this is saying is what's most important to the Aquarius at this time, I think, is finding true love. And because they have not been running into it, they're taking a step back. Well, maybe you have experienced very um, selfish, harsh um, people in your partnerships and you're gonna have to take a step back Aquarius because you can't deal with it anymore you don't want these people in your life you can't manage it in your life um, and so I don't see you putting a lot of effort into relationships at this time okay I think you are literally taking some time out and that's probably exactly what you need to do so just do it all right, so April, I think, is going to be a playful month, more of a playful month, more of, um, you know, getting reacquainted with yourself, you know, um, building your self-esteem back up because it looks like it's taking a hit. And um, so as far as love for April, I think the single ones will stay single. And those of you that are in relationship really need to have conversations with your partners uh, in order to uh, resolve whatever it is that's making you feel less than. Do not allow that to happen. I think the majority of those that are in relationships though um, are, you know, they're pretty good, but you still need to do a lot of conversating, right? And a lot of, a lot of Aquarians will not know how. So how do you, I mean, and what I mean by that is if the relationship is uh, losing ground, you won't know how to get back to it, okay? back to the center so you might need to get a support system maybe a counselor or maybe a friend something maybe even a religious person or a spiritual person to help you through that help you through this time those of you that are all the way in love and it's so easy for you folks to find love or to be in love or at least some kind of love most of you that are in a relationship are probably dealing with one of your part one of you is crabby one of you is bitchy, one of you is ornery, one of you is bullyish, one of you is directing. Sorry, but that's how I see it. That's what I feel, okay? So as far as um, sacred love, you've got lots of work to do, whether you're in love or whether you're in a family, in a relationship or out. Either way, it's all about it. Of health. Listen up. This card speaks of counsel, doctors, wise guys, wisdom keepers, witches, all of that, priestesses, priests, this type of thing. Um, and typically this is someone that we go to to get more information about ourselves. So you might be um, maybe struggling with um, in your health, not doing what you think you know you should do. Okay, so maybe maybe you know you should only eat this kind of food and you're not. You you know you you break that, um, and and then you got to go back on it. That type of thing. Uh, maybe you know you need to do more exercising. I do think that's going to change. So this April, you're going to be looking at your bad patterns and moving forward. Okay, do more movement. Take more time, more movement, more walking, more running, more riding, more swimming, more all of that. Physical movement is going to be more important for you than anything else. And that's simply to, in, in order to get you back on track, okay? So as far as health, I do see uh, that improving. You might even want to stop and take more vitamins, okay? Vitamins will be probably really helpful. So don't change your pattern. If you're getting some... You know, maybe you're, you're on some sort of diet. I think that's going to be really helpful. Um, anything to do with increasing your health for your heart or heart health, excuse me. And the few of you who aren't listening will probably start listening in April. All right. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant for April 2024. This is your prediction for money, business finances well it looks like there's a lot of struggles a lot of putting things together i do see there's been a, a, a lot of strain and stress on you over the last little while but i see the horizon ahead which tells me you know this there's clear skies coming 
Um, you're still gonna have to work hard. You're still gonna have to push the envelope. You might uh, meet some very interesting people. You're gonna have to let go of things that don't serve you though. Whatever, whatever sort of compulsions, obsessions, distractions, anything like that, you're really gonna have to let that go. But I do see some really serious, awesome op things coming your way. Some amazing cards here. So when we look at the financial situation long-term, and especially in April, it's going to improve. You will be finding, um, it's possible you'll find uh, um, financial success through estates or property, um, uh, people coming together and making things happen for you, uh, to be honest with you, letting go of fears and worries and um, struggles from the past and, uh, and anything that holds you back. So I do see that it might require some sort of movement or change in your location, um, but I think that will be very helpful to most of you. So a lot of money might have been going out, but a whole lot of good stuff's coming back in. We really see uh, more positive than negative here. I do think though you're gonna have to put a little more effort into uh, getting out there or pushing the envelope, pushing yourself out there a little bit, okay? So I do think though, bottom line, money isn't going to be bad. Um, it, it, it's a slow moving train though. Aquarius, sun, moon, you're gonna see some of the return. It's gonna be so much better. There you go, okay?